let's talk a little bit about the critical path in Project Insight. I've put together a critical path project where most of the tasks are pretty straightforward. They're all along the waterfall style of first comes task A, then comes task B, then comes task C, except I have this one rogue task in here, design a pretty picture, that happens at the same time as the first draft copy. So because it does not affect the end date of the project, this task is not on the critical path. This task has some float that if it takes a little bit longer to finish and goes four days instead of two, it's still not affecting the end date. The first draft copy is still going to have to take longer. But that doesn't mean that this task can't become on the critical path. If this task takes long enough, it's going to push the in for client review task because we can't do in for client review until both of these tasks are done. Therefore, if this task now becomes the one that's pushing the entire project plan out and affecting the project end date, this design pretty picture task is on the critical path and first draft copy is no longer on the critical path. It has float to start a couple of days later even and still won't affect the end date of the project plan. This becomes very important when we start talking about complicated projects where all roads lead to one big end task because there'll be many, many tasks on the path that we can move around and can float and won't affect that final end date. But the ones that are in red are the ones that if they take longer or start or finish later will affect the end date of the project.